are live on ETC coming to you from downtown LJ, Georgia. We are located in the beautiful, beautiful Appalachian Mountains full of apples and full of beautiful flowers and full of lots of pollen because I don't care how much rain we've had. Brother Travis, we have had some pollen, haven't we? Yes, we surely have. It's it crazy. Yellow. Well, it rained and rained and rained. Is my mic not on? Travis, check your mic and see if it's on. There you go. We'll check that. Um, we also are doing Facebook Live, and we do Facebook Live for all the folks who can't see us here on ETC. If you live between Ball Ground and Turtle Town, then we are available in many of your areas. And if you are in an area that we're not available, pick up the phone and call us and say, hey, how close are you? And if I get my neighbors to join, will you bring ETC to us? And if you don't have ETC services um, and you are in our area, pick up the phone and call and see how competitive we are with pricing. So there you go. Now, Brother Travis, living over in Forsyth County, ETC doesn't go to Forsyth County. No, and we used to watch you on the computer. Mm -hmm. uh, they're no longer available, but uh, so we've been going through withdrawals. <laughs> Uh, but now you're seeing it on Facebook. It on Facebook. That's, That's right. right. And right. Facebook has made, uh, it's, it's kind of opened the door to a lot of people doing things. Absolutely. Because if you're in an area where you have bad Wi-Fi ser wi service, or if you're in an area where you have no Wi-Fi service, I know Nick has moved to an area where can't can't even get Wi-Fi. It's like pumping in sunlight out there. So <laughs> it's been crazy. But um, I like that Facebook offers that for us. Yes. It, it's, a, it's a way to... You know, to, to bring people together, you know, just to, 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 to be able to, to share on a scale like that. And, and mm -hmm. how else could you reach so many people you know, That's at right. the time like that? That's right. It's truly really amazing. Well, you were blessed to be able to use Facebook last week because your young son had some serious medical issues. That's right. And prayer changes things. Right. Now, Travis, how many thousands of people were you able to reach because of Facebook? We'll never know. No. And we had, you know, so many comments, you know, about the situation, and then people say, well, you're, I've had people say, well, you're on our wall of prayer at church, and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, just from all over the country, we've had responses, you know, and just been such a big help to us. Right, right. Now, for people who haven't been reading on Facebook, Lee had an episode that was called? It's uh, supraventricular tachycardia. It's, it's called SVT for short, and it's a... Um, the heart pumps through electric, electrical impulses and it has like uh, circuits in it that, that fire off to make the heart pump. Kind of like AC, DC, different? Right, right, like, like circuits like that. And uh, apparently he was uh, born with or has developed uh, extra circuits to where they're firing off faster and it's causing mm -hmm. his heart to, to accelerate. And, uh, and so this is uh, what we determined. Uh, it started last Tuesday night. He started feeling real tight in his chest and we checked his blood pressure and he's very high and so we give him aspirin and, and so he just kept saying he felt uh, worse and worse and so we decided to take him to the emergency room, which is always a good thing when you think to do with it with the heart. Oh yes. And you never take any chances like that. So we took him to the emergency room and they took him right in to the back and began to work with him and oh from seven thirty to eleven thirty over a four hour period we sat as close as me and you are sitting together, him, him laying in the bed in the emergency room. Alicia and I sit right next to him and watched him uh, pump four different kinds of medications into him and shock him two times Wow! during that time. Wow. And it was an ordeal. And of course, we, we, were, we were praying and, 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 and crying on the inside and just, it was just a really difficult time. But sure the, it is. His heart rate got up to like 240 at one time and, and we, it just seemed like we was losing him. It was mm -hmm. just a, just a, a normal day turned oh, yes, into yes. a disaster. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, so we ended up staying in the hospital um, two nights, staying with him there, and um, we we would we wouldn't get any, didn't get any sleep because we'd watch that heart monitor, you know, mm -hmm. it, and, and it it would stay at you know elevated level and but um, but here's the way God works, Sherry. We we found out later once they determined what the cause was. They first thought it was AFib, mm -hmm. you know, atrial fibrillation, where mm -hmm. the heart is just fluttering like that, right. and pumping. But it, uh, so that's what they was really treating him for. They thought that's what it could be. But uh, they called the cardiologist, and uh, he recommended uh, a certain medication that did bring it down to uh, to a, a, a steady rhythm. It's still mm -hmm. high, mm -hmm. but it was, it was steady. It wasn't fluctuating so so badly. And so um, during the time in the emergency room, they were doing the EKG uh, on his heart and getting the readings while he was having this attack. Well, when the cardiologist read the, uh, the readings, they determined it was this SVT mm -hmm. uh, a problem. 
which we found out later that you can only determine while they're having it. Wow. So you have to have the EKG running while that's happening, mm -hmm. or else you have to go through a series of tests and still couldn't be certain about it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Romans 8.28, all things are going to work together for good. That's Someday, right. Even this, this situation, God turned this trial into a blessing because now we know what it is. Yeah. And now without all the it, tests. Without having yeah. to go through the test and, and not really being certain about it. Mm -hmm. So now they know for sure that that's what it is. And uh, even though it's uh, regrettable he's having to, to, uh, to experience this, uh, we're just thankful that we're able to, to diagnose it. And sure. he's got the medication he's taking. And, and there's an option to have a procedure called oblation mm -hmm. where they can go in and and shut down those extra circuits, you know, but again, it's, it's, it's heart surgery. It's right. where they go in through it with a little wire and a camera. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing, you know. Isn't that crazy? But, Isn't that crazy? But the thing is, the more people we talk to, the more people we find out have had this before. We didn't know it was common like that. We mm -hmm. thought it was, you know, we'd never heard of it before, but, but uh, people on Facebook and even some of our friends at church even uh, has talked about, yes, you know, I had that, mm -hmm. had that procedure done or mm -hmm. had, had gone mm -hmm. through this, and so it's been... You know, it's been a help, you know, to know that uh, um, others have gone through it and have done well from it. Mm -hmm. Paul Kiker, our good friend mm -hmm. Paul Kiker, right? he had it done 20 years ago. Oh, wow. And he said there wasn't... In the olden days. <laughs> 20 years ago, and he said there wasn't but 500 cases in the country, only two doctors that did it. Oh, my goodness. It done 20 years ago. What about that? And, uh, and we know he's healthy as a horse. Yeah, well, and yeah. so he's... Uh, uh, so that was encouraging. You know that it advanced so much since then. Sure, sure. So, uh, but to all this pray for our son Lee, we just want to express our, our sincere thank you and uh, from the bottom of our heart, continue to, to pray for him for the decision we'll have to make. Uh, when he comes down, we'll see the cardiologist next month to determine how the medicine is, is, is doing and uh, whether or not to take that next step for the mm -hmm. ablation. And, and the reason, the right, the reason Alicia's not here today yes, is yes. because Lee had another little episode. Yeah, it, it, he, last night he started feeling uh, tightness in his throat and so uh, was concerned he was taking this medication and was just getting adjusted to it. So actually went online to see what the side effects were and one of them was the tightness in the throat. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. so this morning we, we waited to see how he did overnight and um, he still had a little bit this morning so we called the cardiologist and and they, they told us, you know, to, to, to things to check for to see if it was related to the medicine. And mm -hmm. so he was home uh, resting, although he did go back to work yesterday. And, mm -hmm. uh, May have ever done it. Yeah. You yes, know. He just wanted to get back to this Sure he did. And, uh, <laughs> and it, it, that was encouraging because it was, everybody was so nice uh, to him at the courthouse where he works in Forsyth County Courthouse. And yeah. And to thank them for yeah. their care for him as well. Well, can you imagine how many people truly have prayed for that young man? My goodness gracious and sakes knows. alive. And yeah. Knows yeah. And, and, yeah. Uh, um, it's just, just been such a help to us and of course our church family and um, but um, uh, it, 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 it has been an ordeal you know as a pastor you know I see this and you know uh, you, you hate to say it but it's human nature when somebody else is going through something and some other family you know a heart goes out to them but mm -hmm. it's just not that you know you not, really don't know your flesh and blood yeah you know, your yeah. flesh and blood and so it was uh, so it's really uh, taught me um, you know a greater a greater trust in the Lord it's drawn as it it's really kind of refocused our priorities you mm -hmm. know, things that seem to be important mm -hmm. but, you know when you, mm -hmm. when you have your only child laid in front of you not knowing from one moment to the next right all these other things fade away but oh yeah and and imagine how Lee family. felt because him knowing that he is your only child yes. and how important how much you love him and for him to lay there feeling helpless for those four hours That's while right. they were determining what was going on. What was going through your mind was probably nothing compared to what was going through his mind that I'm my mom and dad's only child yeah. and here I am. And but he was amazingly calm during that time even though this condition is accelerated by anxiety but he, he just has such a, uh, a right sense of humor. He would, even after they shocked him, he said, said wow, that was something. <laughs> <laughs> Even the emergency doctor said, man, he said, you're amazingly calm. You know, it was running around. He called it amateur hour at the emergency room. Oh, <laughs> <'Cause God. they> <laughs> Oh Lord! But you mentioned about helpless. That that's that's the feeling we had. You know, yeah. Right oh there, yeah. You know, couldn't yeah. do anything. But the thing about it, 
as, as being a Christian, yes, we felt helpless as far as what we could do, but we didn't feel hopeless. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We had hope. Yeah, last night, Vicki and I had a conversation about when you feel that helpless hopelessness, and you, you got to balance those two, you know, because you know that you are helpless, but you are not hopeless, and, and there is something going to come, something good's going to come of this. You know, something good's going to come of this. Number one, um, the fact that you were smart enough to get him to a hospital, and we all say, I mean, women especially, heart disease kills more women because we put it off. You know, we're cooking dinner, we're taking kids, we're doing this. We get to feeling that tightness, and we're like, I don't have time for that. We got to do basketball practice, and we got to do this. Yeah, and 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 truly, um, when your heart or anything is messing up with you, you think it might be your heart, get to the hospital. Period. And if they tell you, well, silly, you're just having a whatever that's good, good send send us home that's fine exactly. that's fine that's fine well y'all are always with us around freddie's birthday and tomorrow is freddie's birthday but today we have some birthdays <laughs> and we have a very special yesterday birthday because i wasn't here yesterday do you know what yesterday was uh monday <laughs> <laughs> my spring break. Okay. <laughs> everybody else went to the beach and everybody okay. went to Pigeon Forge and everybody went everywhere. Yeah. I went home for the day yeah. and I enjoyed the, the day. I worked in the yard, I planted flowers, I enjoyed a nice dinner with a friend and I had a wonderful salad that I loved. Yesterday was my spring break so I took the day for me. Good. And I think we all need to take a day for us, you know. Sure. So yesterday was my Independence Day, and I just <laughs> independently <laughs> got up, made silver dollar pancakes for breakfast, and then worked in the yard a little bit, and then it rained, 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 rained. So then I worked in the house and worked on um, organizing a bunch of stuff I had on the computer and trying to get things done. It was kind of a me day, and it was very nice. Nothing wrong with that. It was very nice, yeah. and I think we all, when you get stressed and running and crazy, we all need a me day. And I thoroughly enjoyed my me day until the thunder and lightning in the skies got black. And then I'm going, where am I going to go? And I thought, well, little Vicky lives 90 seconds down the street if I drive, drive like Dale Earnhardt so I can get to her house in 90 seconds. But you know, ball ground, we didn't get, we got wind and lightning and a lot of rain. But for South County, you had some pretty tough stuff, didn't you? Well, in, our, in our area, we, we just got the heavy rain, but um, uh, we really didn't. This, this go around, the ones last week is when we had, you know, some trees down. We lost our power. When it was now, sometime last week, we, you know, we lost our power uh, for a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. um, found out that was from a from a from a car that had hit a pole and knocked it knocked it down. But uh, anyway, um, um, but they're talking like we're getting some more coming in tomorrow. Tomorrow, and they said tomorrow's is actually supposed to be worse, worse than yesterday's. Right. So, okay. yuck. So I'll be here with y'all tomorrow. Jen and I'll be here tomorrow, and we'll be sitting here hunkered down under this table probably. <laughs> <laughs> So, well, let's do the happy birthdays. And, and to my birthday, I missed yesterday, Miss Melinda Mullinax. Happy, happy birthday to you. And to Sherry Rainey, happy birthday to you. To Cherie Bishop, to Rachel Mullins, to Stephanie Poss, to Teresa Dyer, to Jan Cowart, to Stacy Halsey, to Robbie Clark, Angela Allen, Alice Lowe, Jimmy Smith, Glenn Taylor, Phyllis Hill, and Sandra Little. Happy birthday to each and every one of you. I hope you have a wonderful a wonderful day and I hope that you enjoy your celebration of spring. It is spring and I did put out a bunch of flowers and then they're saying next week there's going to be a hard freeze. Of course there is because I put out a bunch of flowers. It's too early to put out flowers but his birthday is tomorrow and I just wanted to do, um, I used one of his granddaddy's old antique buckets and made a little flower bed around it and it was just kind of, what do you give a man that doesn't want anything and doesn't need anything? And you know, he, he just doesn't want or need. So I said, I'll make him a flower bed around his granddaddy's bucket. So that's what I did. But and, and next week when it freezes, I'll be laying out there with a quilt over it. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I'll fix that. I'll fix that. Now, Travis, today I found something that I want to share later in the show, but you brought some music because Miss Alicia can't be with us, and you can't sing a duet without her, can you? No, it's, it's kind of hard to do. It's, it's very hard to do. hard to do, but you also brought a message. What kind of message are we going to have today? Well, we know Easter's coming up. And it so is. I want to kind of focus on that, but um, not particularly on, on Easter uh, but also on the Friday before Easter, which is also called Good Friday, mm -hmm. we want to find out what made Good Friday good mm -hmm. and the significance of Friday in our lives as well. So. Speaking of Easter, did you see the Coke display in the thrift store, in the thrift yes, store, in the convenience with store? The crosses. Is that yes. not the coolest yeah, thing ever? Good. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't say where it was because people keep saying, "This is awesome! I want to go to that store. Where is that store?" And we really don't know. And I'm not sure. You know how the world is. There's somebody out there who's going to be offended by something. Oh, yeah. right. And I said, you know, if I walk in, I don't drink, and I don't. Don't ever intend on it, but if I walk in and there's a big Budweiser display that doesn't offend me because that's your business It's your priority if you want to drink if you want to whatever it's your business that doesn't offend me But for somebody who will walk in a convenience store now and I guarantee you it'll happen Somebody will see this wonderful cross display with the purple draped over it Some whiner some whiner will me 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 and then I'll have to come down and slap them, but <laughs> But it's it's crazy, Travis, because we see the good and we praise that and then there will be somebody who will be offended and that's so sad. It's so yeah. sad. The Bible says, you know, people naturally love darkness mm -hmm. and that the light, you know, they don't come to the light because they love they love darkness and mm -hmm. and until until the heart is changed, that's that's the that's the tendency is to love the things of the world and and to pose that which is which is good, and, mm -hmm. and so it's, it's sad. But uh, well, the the message of Easter, I saw a good sign on the way over. It said, uh, "Tomorrow's forecast is God rains and the sun shines." I love that. Amen. I love it. Amen. And then I saw That's one going um, Sunday morning. I passed by a little church, and it said, "Jesus is making America great again." <laughs> <laughs> I loved That's it. Right. I was right. like, yay, <laughs> yay. But uh, yeah, it's it's Easter is the best holiday ever, and it is a time to reflect. And, and it's funny because um, I posted the thing that Matt Dibler did up at Fields mm -hmm. of the Woods. I watched some of that. I did. And, mm -hmm. and for him to, he had been up all night long. Did you know the story about what happened to him? He drove in from Missouri the night before. He got lost in St. Louis. He circled around, and if you've ever seen the movie um, Vacation, where Chevy Chase gets lost in Missouri and the guys steal his hubcaps and do all this stuff, and Matt said he felt pretty much like that. So Matt had been driving in all night long. He gets here to the studio. He misses the show. He gets to do 10 minutes of the show with us because he's an hour late. He'd been lost. It had been crazy. He had had no sleep. We throw him in the back of the motorhome. We drive up to um, Tennessee for him to do this, and on the way up there we said just rest just take a nap well you know going around curbs in the motor home he couldn't take a nap so we get up there and he said well what do you want the message to be about and I said look at that tomb mm -hmm. I said just look at that tomb and then deliver a message from that tomb mm -hmm. and that's where it came from he'd been up all night long and he said as he was driving lost he was thinking I wonder what she wants me to talk about today <laughs> <You know? laughs> and then he got there and you can't prepare people for what it's like to stand at that 30-foot Bible and then look down at that tomb. Beautiful, just on the video. Just, just like it. It's just, just beautiful. Love to go up there. So. Yeah, well, we need to go one day because it is right. it's such a special, special place. And um, so many Easter sunrise services have been held there and so many great messages have been delivered there. But the great the message about Easter never changes, does it? No. There is an empty no. tomb. Uh, empty tomb to fill our empty hearts. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. That's right. Well, we're going to take a commercial break and we're going to do one song by the Bridgmans and then when we come back, Brother Travis is going to deliver a message. So sit back. If you're with us on Facebook, we'll stay with y'all, but we're going to leave you guys now for just a couple of minutes to cover some commercials. Don't forget our sponsors. With a made up mind to one day cross the finish line I'm pressing toward the mark and for the prize At times I've had to stand my ground Satan's tried to turn me around But I will not be hindered by his lies well, I'm not gonna walk away I've got too much at stake I've come too far Every battle that I have fought will soon be for 
can almost hear them cheer me on and see the ones who have reached home now they await for us to win this race a banquet like we've never known will be held at god's royal throne and there will be rewarded for So happy, dancing, swinging, laughing at me, smile on my face. It's happiness for days. Uh oh. You are everything I need. Happy ever after will be. Couldn't even dream a better. Couldn't even dream a better way. Whether it's memories of your first trip to the local Dairy Queen or your daily visit for a $5 lunch special, the Jasper Dairy Queen has been a part of the community for over 40 years. Locally owned and operated, Jasper DQ is the place where specialty items often become favorites. Burgers, shakes, chicken tenders with yummy dip and gravy, and don't forget the rings and fries. Celebration cakes are always fresh and fast and include the awesome blizzard cake. Stop by where folks are always meeting and eating. 515 at Highway 53. Just follow the crowd to the Dairy Queen. Fountain Roofing has been providing excellent service for 35 years. Let Lonnie assist you in choosing the roof perfect for your home and your budget. Commercial or residential, he can handle it all. Fountain Roofing continues to provide quality workmanship and will provide references upon request. At Fountain Roofing, we've got you covered. Call Lonnie at 706-692-6997. That's 706-692-6997. Since 1962, Gilmer Towing has been serving the North Georgia area and would like to say thanks to all of our customers. For over 48 years, Gilmer Towing has carried on a family tradition with an experienced and friendly staff that offers 24-hour damage-free towing, unlocks, and four-wheel drive recovery. So when you're stuck in a ditch, tires flat, or car won't start, give us a call. Local or long hauls, big or small, Gilmer Towing will get them all. Give us a call today at 706-636-4TOW. In today's changing world, some things should never change. Time-honored, compassionate services are what families have come to know with Roper Funeral Home. Our professional and courteous staff offers traditional services, cremations, as well as advanced funeral planning, which relieves the burden from those we love. Hello, I'm Kevin Roper. If you have any questions about the services we provide, we invite you to give us a call, stop by, or better yet, ask a family who has used our services. We've had Alpha Insurance since our first daughter. And when we had quadruplets, <laughs> we really needed Alpha. Now we need our own insurance with great rates, fast claim service, and a local agent we know. And we want to company our kids and grandkids can trust. <laughs> Call Alpha! For the best agents in the business, call Ed Stepp in Blue Ridge. 
Georgia Medical Treatment Center in Canton specializes in low-level pain management. We provide a holistic approach to treatment, managing knee, back, and joint pain along with migraines, allergies, and medical weight loss through holistic and alternative approaches rather than pharmaceutical treatments. By offering multiple specialties under one roof, including chiropractic care and neuropathy injection treatment, we create the continuity of care that assures positive patient outcomes. So take the first step to a life free of pain. Give us a call or go online today to georgiamtc.com. Now we are back with you on ETC and we want to let Brother Travis start your message and again the message is about Good Friday. Yes it is. All right, let's go. Back when I worked at General Motors, um, we always got Good Friday off and I would ask the guys around me, I said, do you know what made Good Friday good? Most of them said because we get the day off, <laughs> you know, but that kind of gave me an opportunity, you know, to share, you know, the, the true meaning of Good Friday. And, of course, it was the day that, uh, that Christ was crucified. But if we think about that Friday and what it meant, we call it good, but for our Savior, it was grievous for all that He went through on that Friday. And as part of our message this morning, we're just going to go over the events that happened on that one day, on that one Friday. And we think, how did He endure such uh, events and, and all that happened on that one day of that Friday? The secret was because he knew Sunday was coming. And that's a, that's a, a, a wonderful message by a, a, a preacher named S.M. Lockridge that said, it, 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 it's, it's Friday, but Sunday's coming. Mm -hmm. And this is what sustained our Lord, we know, because every time that he would mention the fact that he would be taken and to be uh, crucified and he would die, he would always say, but on the third day he would rise again. So even though he knew he was going to have to face the events of that Friday, his eye was on Sunday. And this was a message for us today as well. We think about what we may have to go through in our life. I want you just to remember that it may be Friday, but if we have the hope of the resurrection through the Lord Jesus Christ, there's a Sunday coming for us as well. And so as we look at that this morning, uh, we see uh, the the traditional date of the death of Christ has been of much controversy over the years with different uh, commentators and there's been different uh, theories, but just for the sake of our message today, let's assume that it was on Friday. Uh, we know that uh, uh, it said three days. It didn't mean to be three full days that he would be in the, in the tomb. It said he would arise on the third day and each, each, each and to the Jews, any part of any day was considered a whole day. So that could very well be from Friday to Sunday. Uh, so, uh, whatever day it was, uh, we want to know that uh, on that Friday, uh, all the things that happened, and um, it was so important because the Gospels, there's 89 chapters in the Gospels, there's 89 chapters, and nearly half of the Gospels are, are concerned the last week of our Lord's earthly life, and much of that is concerned with one day, that last day. Uh, that he lived upon this earth. And so we see the importance of that. And so uh, we want to begin uh, on that Friday uh, that occurred uh, over 2,000 years ago. Our text this morning, Matthew chapter 27 and verse 1, it says, When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And this was, this was daybreak, uh, right before daybreak of that Friday uh, of, of his crucifixion. So we see uh, the, the things that happened, but much occurred before uh, this, this uh, uh, event here. In fact, we go back uh, early in the morning, and we have like a timeline here I found, and we'll have to share with you, just kind of take it step by step to see what our Lord went through on that one day, that one terrible Friday, that grievous Friday that he endured for you and I. And we see around 1 o'clock in the morning, we find him in a garden. Now, it wasn't like Gibbs' garden. Mm -hmm. It was the garden of Gethsemane. Gethsemane means the oil press or wine press. And it was there that our Lord was, was put under the pressure of having the sins of the whole world laid upon him. I mean, he had, in, in the garden, he prayed to the Father. And even, even knowing that he, was, he had come to the world for this purpose, to bear our sins... As, as the Father showed him what was going to be involved in taking the sins of the world, even Jesus cried out, Lord, Father, said, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. 
nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. <laughs> so there in the garden at, at 1 o'clock in the morning that, on that Friday, uh, Jesus was pressed under the burden of looking upon the, whole, the sins of the whole world being laid upon him. So there he was in this garden, there in Gethsemane. But yet we see uh, while he was praying, he had asked his disciples uh, to, to watch and pray while he went to, to pray as well. Well, he went and he found them sleeping. They disappointed him. And so right up to the very beginning of the day, he begins with disappointment. Have you ever been disappointed by your friends? People made promises to you, or you asked them to do something for you, and, and they, they failed to do so. Uh, this this is just was a minor thing, but this is, this is the way be, the day began. And so uh, while he was there in the garden, suddenly there was a the sound of an approaching mob. And then we see around 1.30, we see uh, one of his own, one of his followers, Judas, leading a mob of soldiers coming with torches and, and coming to arrest him. And then Judas goes over to him and kisses him to identify him as the one to arrest. So he betrays the Son of Man with a kiss. And so uh, they take Jesus and arrested him there and, and, and take, taken him from the garden. And again, here's betrayal by one of his own. You know, this, this is happening all on a Friday. And maybe you've experienced betrayal from friends, ones that, that you had trusted and someone that had betrayed you in this way. Well, again, these things happen on Friday. And so we see they go from the garden. Now we see her about 3 o'clock in the morning. He's taken now to uh, the, the home of Annas, the high priest. And there he is, uh, goes through a series of trials before the, the Jewish leaders and also the, the Roman uh, government as well. But in this first trial, we see he's before the, the Jewish high priest, Annas. And there uh, is questioned and so forth. And then has to go through another trial, and that was Caiaphas. And so, and they bring false witnesses before him, and they accuse him of doing things, and, and, and accuse him of blasphemy of all things. But yet he, he stands, stands for the truth, but yet they will not, they will not hear uh, other than just take that false testimony. And once again, it's Friday, and it's Friday. And have you ever been lied on? Have people have told lies on you and have, have sought to hurt your reputation or your character or, or to see, see harm come to you? This is what our Lord experienced. We see uh, all, all these things happening. So we see around 5 o'clock in the morning, just before daybreak, as our text said, it says, When morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And so... Uh, they, they send him now to the Roman governor, Pilate. And so uh, this is uh, about uh, probably about 5 o'clock in the morning, around 6 o'clock. We see that they uh, send him uh, to the Roman governor and with the intention that they would have uh, uh, Pilate to sentence him to death because under the Jewish law they could not sentence anyone to death. But again, all this is happening on Friday. And we just see, the, just, just see the steps that our Lord is following. But yet, again, th through it all, he was not looking at his present circumstance. He was looking beyond because, you see, Sunday was coming. Sunday was coming. But yet, uh, he stood before Pilate, and Pilate really wanted to let him go, but he gave in to political pressure and to the peer pressure and so forth. And eventually... Uh, he, he sees a way that he could send him to Herod to have him to, to try, try him. And so he, he sends him away and, and then Herod mocks him and, and so forth. And, and uh, then he comes back before Pilate. And so Pilate agrees to uh, commit him in, over to be crucified. And so he's taken by the Roman soldiers. At this, he's already been scourged one time. Pilate had him scourged before. And, and, uh, uh, and so we see that... Um, He's, he's sent away from, from, the, from the judgment hall, and now it's going up the, the road to Calvary. And we, we, we hear the jeering mobs all around and, and all the accusations and the ones people say, and he that, that, that is going to build the temple in three days and rise, raise it up and, 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 and said, you know, come down from the cross and all these things, and they're mocking him and so forth. And so we see uh, around uh, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, we see darkness falls up upon the land and so a period, a period of three hours of darkness and during that time Jesus cries out my God my God why hast thou forsaken me he felt for the first time he, he experienced a, a, a feeling of separation and abandonment by his father and, and there was there was no there was no word there was no there was no word uh, from the father because 
it was really fulfillment of prophecy. But you see, the Bible says that God was of purer eyes than to look upon sin. And in those, in those moments, that's when the sin of the world was laid upon Him. And the Bible said He became sin for us who knew no sin. So when Christ became sin upon that cross, the Father couldn't look upon Him. And Jesus experienced that, that feeling of abandonment and that feeling of, of silence uh, from the Heavenly Father. You know, there's times in our lives we feel like that, that maybe heaven is just brass to us and we just don't feel a, an answer from God. And we, we find ourselves in the middle of Friday with all the things that's happening and we, don't, we, we can't, uh, can't understand. But yet, uh, all, all of these things are coming to pass. And so then finally, there on that, in that fateful afternoon, Jesus cries with a loud voice and says, It is finished. And He gives up the ghost. And He dies. And that's on a Friday. And then they take his body down before the, 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 uh, before the end of the Sabbath and they take him and they bury him in a borrowed tomb in a garden. You see, Friday began in a garden and it ended in a garden tomb and it ended in his death. And so what a grievous Friday it was for our Savior. But listen, but we see on that third day, Sunday had come. And listen to what the Bible says in Matthew 28, in verse 1. In the end of the Sabbath, as began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. And then, verse 6, when, when they asked, when they find his body is not there, the tomb is empty, they asked those standing by, said, where have you taken him? Where, you know, where, where is he? They said, he is not here, for he is risen as he said. Said, come see where the Lord did lay. And so we see, we see the agony of that Friday has given away to the victory of Sunday. Sunday had come. It was a day of resurrection. It's the first day of the week. It is a, it is a day, uh, the resurrection day, and it was a new day, and it was a new era. It was the beginning of a new relationship that we can have with our Heavenly Father. Jesus was victorious over death, hell, and the grave on that Sunday. But you see... He had to go through the experience of Friday in order for him to experience the joy of Sunday. Now I want you to think this morning, sometimes the, the trials and, and the things we go through may last longer than we anticipate. Uh, sometimes the, the pain does not seem to go away, even after much prayer. Sometimes it seems like God is, is far off and not, not, uh, not going to answer our prayer. We just feel abandoned and alone. We, we suffer when we do good. We, we, we suffer betrayal at the hands of our friends and all these things. All these things happen because it's Friday. You see, it said, when they come to arrest him, Jesus said this, this is your hour in the power of darkness. He recognized that that, that day, that all that was going to entail, that, that it seemed like Satan was winning, was winning. And no doubt he was celebrating on that Friday. Cele uh, Satan was celebrating with his demons on that Friday. But he didn't know Sunday was coming, but Jesus did. And so we see that on, that on that wonderful Sunday morning when he rose from the dead, listen, you may have gone through all these things and feeling alone and depressed, but you may even feel there's no hope. You may be going through a Friday, but just remember Sunday's coming. Sunday's coming. And so listen, don't look at life through the eyes of the day, but through the eyes of tomorrow. The, the present circumstance, it, it, it may, you may be going through a Friday. But listen, if we have the hope of the resurrection of Christ, we know that Sunday's coming. But listen, there was another one uh, on, on that Friday. Uh, Judas, he also died on Friday, but he wasn't looking for Sunday. He didn't live to see Sunday. And so we know what, what a difference. What a difference to live with the hope of knowing that no matter what happens on this day, that there's a better day coming. And dear friends, you may be going through, through Friday. You may be living in Friday right now, whatever it entails, whatever, whatever pain you may be enduring or, or betrayals or whatever, the suffering of this present world. Listen, Sunday's coming. Sunday's coming. There's, there's coming that, that, that wonderful morning of the resurrection uh, when, when uh, a, a new life, a new body, and all these things will be passed away. But do you have that hope today? Are you living in Friday with, with no hope of Sunday? But I just pray that if you're, if, you, if, you're, if you're saved today, you have that hope. And listen, we can live so long without air, but we can't live at all without hope. 
And Jesus Christ is the one that gives us that hope today. Yes, it may be Friday, but Sunday's coming. And I hope and trust that you know uh, this, the Lord Jesus Christ and know that, that there is hope beyond this life. Father, thank you for your word today and just pray that you would just make it living and real. Speak to those, Lord, that may be going through a circumstance even on this day. Uh, this may be Tuesday of the week, but they may be going through a Friday right now. Lord, encourage them with the thought that it's Friday now, but Sunday's coming. Thank you, Lord, for the resurrection day. And we look forward to that time we can celebrate together, Lord, on this uh, Easter Sunday as we look and, and celebrate the, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And because He lives, we can live also. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Three songs come mm. to my mind. Because He Lives, mm. Up From the Grave He Arose, Christ Arose, and Love Lifted Me. Amen. Amen. And Love Lifted Me because those three songs, if you, you know, there are people sitting out there, Travis, who have never, never been to a church and felt that Easter morning. And um, there's something about Easter morning, you know. Right, right. So Amen. let's challenge folks who haven't ever been to an Easter service. Yes. If you're sitting at home and thinking maybe now's the time, now is the time because that just the music, the message, and the hope mm -hmm. of right. Easter morning, you Amen. know, it, it right. is an amazing time. Well, if, if it wasn't for that for that Sunday, mm -hmm. we wouldn't we wouldn't. The Bible said we'd be all men most miserable. We'd have no hope. We'd, you know, um, our faith would be vain. Uh, our, our loved ones have perished that have died before, and it just it just it's it's what gets us through life. It does. Just just that hope. It does. And, and the um, eternal life. I was life. looking at your Bible and thinking about this last night. I was messaging somebody, and and to be quite honest with you, yesterday was the one day that I just soon if. I'm getting to the Freddie way. Let's watch Andy Griffith or let's watch <laughs> Mama's Family. Let's watch something else because the political scene so is frustrating. crazy. So frustrating. It is so crazy. Mm. And I, I replied to something that somebody posted last night and um, I said, praise praise the Lord or, or um, something. Jesus is in charge. I can't remember exactly how I worded it. And, and the person replied with, well, I don't believe that Bible. And I thought, mm, so how bold sad, a bit, so bold a bit to put that on. How there. sad, how sad. But then, um, Freddie <sighs> has a nephew that I had posted something about. If the storm came out of my treasures, my family treasures, what would I take out? If I knew a tornado was going to come and destroy everything I had, what would I take mm. with me? And I said, would I take my 1800s Bible or would I take my fourth generation grandmother's butter dish? What mm. would you take with you? Mm. And I love that his nephew said, you have an 1800s Bible? And I said, yeah. And he said, I want to see it. And I said, I want you to because it is so beautiful. It has beautiful color pictures in it. And it's it's big. And it's, I think when y'all came to the house and we were doing Heart of the Home at my house, we had it sitting on the set. Mm. And and mm. it just, it's, it's just a beautiful, it's a beautiful book full of the truth. But I love the pictures in it. They don't do things like that anymore. You know, they don't make the big, beautiful mm, Bibles right. with the color pictures. Because right. for a kid to imagine Jesus on that cross, you got to see it. You mm. got to see it because you can be mm. told about it. But you got to see what that really is. Right. And even the pictures can't really capture the no, you know, the, the, the horror no, of it. And, no. Um, no. Did you Let's see say, Passion of the Christ? Yes, okay. yes, yes. It took me about four years to be able to watch that because I just yeah. could not. People had said it's very graphic. Mm -hmm. And I sat out here in the parking lot on a DVD player and watched it one, one morning. I started watching it before I came on set and then I finished it. And, um, yeah, that was an amazing movie. And it was probably very close to the truth of, of the pain and the suffering. Did you know that Mel Gibson that, uh, that directed it, that um, although he wasn't, in the movie, but yet he wanted to convey the message that it wasn't the Romans that nailed him to the cross. It says when it shows where the hands are nailing the spike, that was Mel Gibson's hands. Wow. It was his hands showing that it was it was us, that he was one that wow. nailed him to the cross. Wow. I thought that was a powerful message there. Wow. Isn't so, that something? Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It gives me cold chills thinking <laughs> yes, about it. Right. Well, we're going to take another commercial break, and then we're going to take you to some more Bridgman's music. We're going to do one song that Travis brought in, another one, and then we're going to go to the birthday song that y'all did. Um, I think it's Canaan Lynn, I think. Okay. With you and Bill and, and Miss Alicia. So you'll get to see that. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. 
with speeds up to 150 meg, ETC and Ignite delivers more, more, more. More shopping, more music, more learning, more streaming. More speed to power smartphones, movies and streaming video. More speed for more devices in your home. And more room in your budget with ETC's low pricing and bundled discounts. Get the fastest internet around with Ignite's new 150 meg. More speed, more savings. Call ETC today. Proverbs 426 states, ponder the path of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Too often investors are looking for instant gratification or some secret formula for success. The prudent, however, have pondered the path of their money, invested with a vision, and based upon a plan that drives the selection of their investments. We believe the prudent approach is to have a strategy and patiently work towards your goals. Give us the opportunity to compete for your business, because at Keiko Wealth Management, the wisdom is in the planning. I'm Lauren Smith, the University of Georgia. Today we have John Davis, former Georgia Tech All-American, Frank Ross, captain of the Bulldogs 1980 National Championship team in a Subway showdown. Subway. How many Subways does that Singleton own? He just up with number 17. He started in my hometown of LJ. Yeah, but he graduated from the University of Georgia. Oh. Hey guys, who's hungry? It looks like Subway and Singleton Food Services Incorporated, the winner again. Subway! Chevy runs deep in Canton at Bill Holt Chevrolet. Deeper selection, deeper discounts, and we're letting everybody know it. Not just Chevy buyers in Atlanta. Chevy buyers in Blairsville, Blue Ridge, Jasper, and LJ. If you're out there, we're right here with one huge selection at Truck HQ. Always get our lowest prices and friendliest service. Online, BillHoltGM.com. Because when you're talking trucks, you're talking Truck HQ. At Blue Ridge Dermatology, we believe your skin is vital to your health. That's why each of our providers gives personalized treatment recommendations. Let Dr. Mills do a thorough exam. He specializes in all skin conditions. Jamie Savageo is our nurse practitioner who specializes in skin disease. And our physician's assistant, Patrick Martin, is a certified injector for facial rejuvenation. Our certified laser technician, Donna Atosco, performs laser procedures with the latest gold standard equipment. Susan Newton is our medical esthetician. She specializes in chemical peels and skin tightening. Let one of the staff at Blue Ridge Dermatology help you look and feel your best. When Mike leaves town, it's a little scary. You never know who might be outside. But we feel safer inside knowing our home is being monitored by a local company. I can check our alarm from just about anywhere. So when we get home, I know it's safe. Get peace of mind for your family with a local company. Switch your current security monitoring to ETC Security and get six months monitoring free. Call ETC Security now or visit etcsecurity.com to learn more. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge.
Way to go. Okay, happy birthday. Boy, that was the best birthday shopping I ever did. That was so simple. Now sit back and you're going to get to hear Travis and Alicia. You see that shot of me? I had black hair. <laughs> Boy, that was a while back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that was a while back. Okay. You and I don't need to have black hair anymore. <laughs> we got oh, no. the gray hair going mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, we want to ask folks again to pray for Lee. So yes. tell us a little bit about, um, he's 35 years old, never had any health problems that you knew of, and this event happened just basically scared you to death. Yes, it was just, it was just so sudden. I mean, it just started feeling the... He just finished eating and, and started feeling some tightness in his chest and, and we well, first stated, he said he felt like his heart flipped or flopped, you know, I think is what he uh -huh. said. And so then he started still feeling the, the tightness and we just went from there. And so um, uh, I'm just thankful we didn't just, you know, say, well, it's probably indigestion or mm -hmm. something. And often, see, that's, that's the right. scary that's part right. because People if you've just, just had assume, a meal when right. this attack mm -hmm. starts to happen, mm -hmm. we all say, oh, Lord, I ate too much grease or I ate too much of this or I ate too much right. of that. And, yeah, right. and often that's not the case at all. Right. So, um, again, it was uh, <laughs> last Tuesday was the Friday for us. That's right. Exactly. That's right. And so, uh, but um, uh, but now that they've identified what it is, that we'll be able to, you know, treat it successfully. Uh -huh. And so we're hearing good reports from people that's that's had it. And so, but still, it's in God's hands. Yeah. He's he's the yeah. great physician. Yeah. It's it's he's he's the one. And so, we do enlist you to continue to prayers for him. And um, um, so uh, he's you know he's all we have. Is so. he back on his keyboard? <laughs> Yes, that's that's See, that's one of that's, that's one of his uh, that's, that's one of his soothing uh, that's right. that's right. that's uh, a good it's one of his yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, therapies is to go down and just play the keyboard, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and um, and so that's uh, just kind of de-stress. I mean, that's good. That's good for all of us. Right. I mean, we just live. You know, um, we're we're too blessed to be stressed. Right. You know. Right. I mean, we got I have all a the pressures, who's been everything, having but little heart tightness and things and mm -hmm. we we've been fussing at her lately and we're like get to a doctor get to a doctor there's a reason you're feeling this and she said oh i'm just stressed i'm just stressed mm. well stress brings on right health problems right and we right. all know that that stress is a great cause of bad health so, and so oh, de-stress yes. yourself mm. you know just <laughs> lighten up lighten oh, up oh yeah there's a there's a definite uh, correlation between your your mental health your emotional health and your physical health mm -hmm. i mean that, that's definitely we're all you know we're we're our bodies is, is interconnected and well the bible says as a man thinketh in his heart so is he right that's a, that's a good way to look at it too that's right uh, whatever you think whatever your emotions and whatever have you feel or uh is, is you know that's that's it's going to be you. That's what you're going to experience. Yeah. And a happy heart doeth good oh, like a medicine. Merry heart doeth good like a my medicine. Mama That's right. always <laughs> said that. And she was like, my mama was jitterbug in the day she died, I'm sure, because mama was always feeling good. And um, and I think that is a life's lesson we all need to learn because mm -hmm. somebody got on to me for saying something that was kind of funny and, and they, nim, 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 and I said, oh, lighten up. Get over it. You know, and, and yesterday... Vicky and I have a nasty habit of laughing all the time, and, and we just said, you know what? We have lived a long time, gone through a whole bunch, and if you can't look back at the past and look forward with a smile, you ain't going to make it. Mm. You ain't going to make right. it because you right. keep going back to that gloom and doom. Mm -hmm. The gloom and doom will pull you in and drag you down again, right. and you have a choice. You have a choice to start smiling, start laughing, start loving life again, or you're going to be in a pit. And that pit's no fun. Right, that's right. That's that pit's right. no fun. Well, someone said, you know, the, the past is history, tomorrow's a mystery. You know, we live for, for the today because it's called the present. It's mm -hmm. a gift. It is it's a called gift. the present. It is that's a gift. right. It is mm -hmm. a gift. Well, last night we got tickled because we ate a simple dinner. Um, I said, let's go somewhere amazing because Freddie was out of town and I said, let's just do something amazing. Well, our amazing amounted to not much of nothing. But she had a salad, I had a salad, and then we split something else. Lord have mercy, it was full of grease, <laughs> and and we were sitting there eating and saying, we are going to pay for this, <laughs> but we laughed, and we just had a good afternoon, and we both needed that, mm -hmm. because, you know, as you're, I was looking for some real estate pictures the other day, and the only pictures I could find on my computer were my daughter's funeral. Oh. Now, mm. why did that happen to me? Mm. You know, I'm looking for real estate pictures that I know were on this desk, and the only thing that keeps popping up is my child's funeral. Mm -hmm. And I said, Lord, why don't you throw that at me today? Mm -hmm. So it took me a few days to get through that, 
and to understand that it was a going away. I knew where she had gone away to, and I just had to accept that. But they just came up on the computer, and I, I called Vicki, and I said, I can't believe the day I'm having. And I said, it's because these stupid pictures. Mm -hmm. And they just, you know, and I thought, oh. And then she said, well, that's so weird. I've had the same kind of day. Mm -hmm. And sometimes mm -hmm. when you have those same kind of days, you get together with a friend, and you smile, and you laugh, and you rejoice. Because Sunday's coming. Sunday's, Sunday's coming. coming. Sunday's, coming. Sunday's right. coming. Sunday's coming. And we want to remind y'all, if you don't don't know how to get Danny off, pick up the phone and call me and I'll tell you how to get there. <laughs> I'll tell you two different ways. I know two routes now. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. And um, we're going to have to get together with y'all and, and share a little time together because Freddie has gotten used to. We love when Alicia said, we want to take Freddie to lunch. We want to spend some time with y'all. And then this thing with Lee. That is the most important thing for y'all to be with your son. Right. He's our priority. And for you to get right. him through this. Mm -hmm. He is going to be fine. And we're going to ask you once again to please pray for Lee. Um, wonderful young man. And uh, boy, can he play the keyboard. Yeah. We, yeah. We, he, he, he doesn't like to play in front of people. But uh -huh. uh, we get the uh, uh, chance to be able to hear him play. And he blesses us. <laughs> so, he does. But, uh, he does. We, uh, I want to mention this. Um, we're... We're scheduled to be at the food factory in Cornelia to sing up there this uh, Thursday night at, okay. uh, at, from 5.30. The, the buffet starts at 5.30, then we'll be singing at 7 o'clock. So this Lord, Thursday Lord willing, yes. Okay. This Thursday, it's okay. in Cornelia at the food factory on Main. Wonderful food. Have you ever I eaten there before? I understand some of our viewers have been there. Oh, it's it's wonderful food. Yeah. And uh, but then they have Southern Gospel nights so that once uh, once a month. Okay. And so we're going to be up there Thursday night at, uh, singing at 7 o'clock, Lord willing. And it's right on Main Street, and that's if everything's okay with Lee. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. And they have a buffet. Is that what you said? Five thirty. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think it's eleven dollars for all you can eat. Okay. Well, that sounds great. And More I'll, than you should eat, really. I'll remind people that yet yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, Jen will be with me, and we're going to share in some uh, share some news with you from Epworth First Baptist Church. Um, a big change is coming, and it's something that the. Um, the poor members have dreaded, but their pastor is retiring. Oh, and it's uh, going to be a sad time for mm -hmm. them because um, Tom Jordan is one of a kind. He's a wonderful, wonderful man, and, and it's going to be one of those wouldn't want to try to fill those shoes. Mm -hmm. going to be tough, going to be oh. tough, but we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Hope that you'll have a wonderful day. Do something special. Do something with somebody you love and Amen. laugh a little bit. Just laugh a little bit. Hey, you can look at yourself and laugh. I do it all the time. I've got on hot pink tennis shoes today, y'all. I would put my feet up. <laughs> here if I didn't want to shock y'all to death. But you know, some days you just get by with life and you just smile and that's what it's all about. Right. Thanks for joining us here at ETC. Don't forget, um, trading time comes our way, your way at 5 o'clock this afternoon. You can buy, swap, trade. Pick up the phone and call our little buddy here. And for you folks on Facebook, we're going to be leaving you now where rivers, mountains, and good, good friends, friends meet. meet. That's right. You turn Back.